Hi there, my name's Simon and welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to improve your online teaching environment. And in this video, I have got big news for you guys. OBS 26 has finally been released as a finished product 22 hours ago as of the time of filming this video. So some of you might straight away decide to download OBS 26 to take advantage of its native virtual camera, a virtual camera which is now inbuilt to OBS 26, which means that Mac users should now be able to use this without any problems at all. And that's exactly what I did. I saw it, I saw it was available, I downloaded it, and straight away I ran into some problems. In this video, I want to explain the process that I went through so you can watch this video before you download OBS 26, be aware of some of the issues you might have, and hopefully it won't be such a frustrating experience. Okay. So let's get started. Now this video is gonna be a bit rough and ready, um, rough and readier than normal because I'm gonna be typing and talking at the same time. I probably will be talking far too much, um, but you're just gonna to have to forgive me for this. I've just gone through the process of installing OBS 26. I want to tell you everything that I did and all of the mistakes I made so you don't go through, as I said, that same process. So within OBS 25, there is an option to update. And when you open up, when you open up OBS 25, you might see a screen saying OBS 26 is available, download it. And you'll click yes, you'll download it, and then you'll be presented with OBS 26. And that's where my problems began. Because if you remember with OBS 25, the old version, as I'll call it now, in order to see the virtual camera, you had to see, uh, you had, in order to see the virtual camera that you had to install as a plugin, you would see it in the tools menu. So it would be below scripts, I think it was, and then you'd see virtual camera. So when I downloaded OBS 26, and this is it, I could still see virtual camera underneath scripts. And straight away I thought, okay, there might be a problem here because virtual camera is inbuilt into the system. If I move this, uh, this window just over here, you can see just past my shoulder where I'm pointing right now, this is where you've got the inbuilt virtual camera. So here you can stop it and you can start it. Here, as you can see, I've started it. I'll show you why in a second, but this is where it is. So when I opened up the tools menu and I saw a virtual camera here and a virtual camera there, straight away I thought, okay, I think we're going to have a conflict. And indeed, that's what happened. The plugin from the old version was still working and the native version, this one here, wasn't working. So I thought something is going wrong. So what did I do? Well, let me pop this out of the way. The first thing I then did was I uninstalled OBS. And let me stop the video right here because I've forgotten to tell you guys something important. Before you uninstall OBS 25, remember to take photographs of your settings. You're going to need photographs of your chroma key settings, your output settings, your video settings at the minimum, okay? Make a note of how you've set up OBS 25 so when you install OBS 26, you won't have to waste time going through that same process again. Now, I've noticed that OBS 26 is a little bit different in uh, compared to OBS 25, so you might have to make some small adjustments, but it's a better place to start with your old settings than having to do the whole thing again. So remember to take photographs, back to the video. Let me unbold that. So that's the first thing I did. I, I uninstalled OBS and I wanted a clean install. So that's what I did. I uninstalled OBS, downloaded it again, uh, OBS 26, and I installed it again. But then I saw another issue. Yes, the virtual camera had disappeared. The old uh, virtual camera plugin from the old version, OBS 25, had disappeared. But I could still see that my settings from OBS 25 were carried across onto OBS 26. So I didn't fully uninstall OBS 25, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, and because I thought if there was still some information from the old OBS 25, 
it still might somehow influence OBS 26. And indeed, when I did that, the virtual camera in OBS 26 did not work. So what I then had to do was a full uninstall of OBS. Now, how do you do a full uninstall of OBS? You, in my case, I use a third party program called, I think it's called Revo Uninstaller. Whoops. Revo Uninstaller. And here it does a complete system deep clean of the program and rips everything from that program out of your system. And so that way, OBS is completely removed. Then I reinstalled OBS again for the third time. So I reinstalled OBS 26. So now I've got a completely clean uh, install. There's no carryover from OBS 25 onto OBS 26. So then I started to test the virtual camera with the three uh, video conferencing apps that I use, Google Meet, Skype, and Zoom. With Skype, I didn't have a problem. I could bring along my settings screen and I'll just try and dig that out for you now so you guys can see that as well. Where is it now? Uh, let's get the settings menu back up. Audio and video. So here when I moved that across, it was as it was before. So Logitech, this is the web camera that I use and it saw OBS virtual camera. So no problems with Skype. Let me turn that off. Now with Zoom, the same situation. Zoom saw OBS without any problems at all, and so I could use Zoom. And I've tested Zoom as well. If you remember my video that I did on how to use OBS and Zoom, I said, make sure you test the output because it might get a bit blurry. I've tested it just now on my wife's laptop, and luckily for me, that problem doesn't exist. So I know that I've got a clear image through Zoom. Now, if for whatever reason it doesn't work, you can't uh, Skype or uh, Zoom doesn't pick up the new version of OBS, the new OBS virtual camera, then you've got to go through the basic processes uh, in order to reset those programs. What do I mean by that? Good old fashioned, turn off the computer, turn on the computer, and just then start the programs again. And sometimes, that's all that's needed to find the OBS virtual camera in Skype and Zoom. So Skype and Zoom up and running. And now Google Meet. Now Google Meet, I had a problem. It wouldn't pick up the OBS virtual camera. And this is a fairly well documented problem. If you have a look on the forums, uh, lots of people complain about this. So I can't turn off uh, the browser in the same way that you can turn off a program like Skype or Zoom. So what I did was I tested um, Google Meet on Edge. Now Edge is a browser that I don't use. And so as a result, it doesn't have any cookies, it doesn't have any history, it doesn't have anything at all. So I went onto Edge, onto Edge I logged into my Google account, I tried Google Meet and it worked which told me that the reason why it doesn't work on Chrome, which is the normal browser that I use, was because of a cookies issue or some other kind of issue buried in the back end of Chrome, wherever that is. So I had to clean out Chrome. So I used the program CCleaner to, um, to do exactly that. And that wiped away all of the cookies and all of the other garbage that's accumulated over time. Once I did that and restarted Chrome, no problems. OBS 26 works without a problem. So now, and this, if I show this to you guys here, just move to, not that one there, wrong screen. See, I was um, going through the process of working out um, how can I get Google Meet to work with OBS and so on. So I'm not just making all of this up. But here is the meeting. This is the Google uh, Meet screen. You can see that the virtual camera is working. So sometimes you just need to turn the computer off, turn the computer on, clean out history and cookies and everything else, and that's all that you need to do. Okay, so having gone through that process, having made those mistakes, having found out what works, what doesn't work, at least for me, this is my recommended process 
for installing OBS 26. First of all, take photographs of the settings in OBS 25. Okay, so go to the video settings, have a look at the output settings, have, take a photograph of the dashboard, and make sure you've got photos, uh, if chroma key settings, uh, for example, that's also important to take. So make sure you've got photographs of all of your settings. Then, do a full uninstall of OBS using Revo Uninstaller or something similar and just rip the whole thing out of your system. Do a clean install of OBS 26 from the website. Turn your computer off, turn your computer on. Then, clean out the cookies and history for your browser. Uh, I use CCleaner for this, but there are many other programs that you can use. And then, fingers crossed, hopefully, everything will work and you'll be able to use uh, the new OBS 26 with its virtual in integrated virtual camera on Zoom, Skype and Google Meet. And there's lots of good things to say about OBS 26. Uh, I haven't even used it in the lesson yet, so I might be doing an extra video tomorrow uh, going through my first lesson experience. I've got my first lesson we're in about an hour and 15 minutes, so we'll see if it works well or not. It's got, um, as I said, the integrated virtual camera button right here. It's been neatened up a little bit. It's got this helpful little toolbar here, which allows you to make quick changes to different things, uh, depending on what uh, settings or things you would like to do. I'll leave you guys to work that out. And generally, I can see that the picture is a little bit better as well. So I hope that the changes in, uh, from OBS 25 to OBS 26 will resolve some of the Zoom issues that people are having as well as regards poor quality of output. Okay, guys, if you've got any questions at all, any problems uh, about OBS 26, I'll do my best to help you out, although I can't promise to come up with instant solutions. Uh, just go through the process that I went through and hopefully everything will be okay. Okay, guys, I'll see you around soon.